I'm starting out with Ribbon S Paint Pot just to give a light shimmer to the eye and I'm using Stila in the Moment Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to be using Desired first on a flat MAC shader brush and this is really just going to smooth out your eyes so your eye isn't being tugged and pulled around because you don't have a base eyeshadow on. I'm going to take this gorgeous glow, glowy white color called Instinct and it's a really good dupe for the Naked Basics Venus color. If you don't have that and you have this palette that would work too. Um, and I'm just putting this all over the lid. Um, and also using Wander and putting that on the outer half of my lid. Whitney Port's look is all about really big bubbly eyes with a lot of shimmer and it makes your eye look really big and glowy. So the first half of it, this is video, is just going back and forth in those two colors just to make the perfect blend and more of like a watercolor look and not so this is where the light shimmer goes, this is where the dark shimmer goes. It just all blends together very organically. I'm going to be using a pencil brush and using the chocolate color in Whim. And this is such a pretty color. It's a light shimmer. It's just like a reddish brown color. And I'm putting this on the outer half of my eye and pulling my eye taut to really get it into the crevice of your eye. And then using soft brown just to blow it out and it doesn't make it so concentrated in the outer corner. I'm going to be going back and forth with my fingers with Instinct and Wonder just to brighten up my eye and get those colors more pigmented as you can see on my other eye. That Instinct color I'm going to put on the ball of your eye if you just touch your eye and you feel it like the most poking, I don't know, but it's, it's a ball, the ball of your eye. So you just put that there and it really makes your eyes look super big and it makes the white of your eye really white. I'm going to be using a coal black eyeliner and putting this on my tight line and in between my lashes to make my lashes look more full. And just a tad on the outer half of your waterline. Do not go farther than the outer part of your eyeball starts, like the colored part. I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner. And Whitney Port's look is all about the thicker um, wing on the outside and then gradually sloping it down to the inner tear duct. It's not a lot like Lauren Conrad's look where it's just a simple cat eye. She has a very elevated um eyeliner look on the outside and then it just slightly slopes in. So that is what I'm doing now and as you'll see in the later on clip right now I'm going to be putting it in the inner part of my eyelashes and this is a good trick if you have sparse eyelashes just to fill them in a little. I'm going to be using the Naked Basics palette and taking that black color I think it's called Crave with a um, slanted eyeliner brush and just stamping in the eye just to make that eye eyeliner look more pigmented. I'm going to be using the NARS eyeliner and placing that on the rest of my eyeball, um, my waterline I guess. And this is going to really make your eyes look huge. I'm going to be using the Bare Essentials Volumizing I Think Mascara just for the bottom, not too much because she doesn't really use that much mascara. And then I'm going to just really pile it on on the upper half of my eyelashes. And this is a Jordana Mascara Volumizing one I get at Walgreens for about $3. I'm going to be using bronzer now. You can use the Too Faced Milk Chocolate or the Physician Formula. They both look great. I was using the Too Faced one on a dome brush I got from Sigma. You can get them at Sigma Beauty Brushes, I guess. Um, just Google Sigma Brushes. And I'm just going to kind of just do the whole like Southern California glowy look. Not really concentrating it, but just putting it in your hollows of your cheekbones, across your nose, making it just a really nice bronzy look. If you want a full in-depth video on how I do that, I will link it below because I have done a whole video on contouring, bronzing, using liquid bronzer, what's the difference between contouring and bronzing. So all those questions are asked in a video that I've recently done. And make sure you drag it on your neck because you do not want two different skin tones going on. Now Whitney Port loves her blush and this is Peaches by MAC. You can also use NARS Orgasm. You can also use the Tarte blushes. Those are amazing. And also Coralista by Benefit. You just want a nice like summery coral pink color. And I'm applying this more farther back on my cheekbones just for my natural um, face shape. It just looks better on me. But Whitney Port really puts it in the front of her cheekbones um, because she has a smaller face than I do. 
Now you're going to be using just a highlighter and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and I'm just placing this on the highest part of my cheekbone and that is going to really make your eye, your cheekbones stand out, look very glowy and giving you that California kind of a glow. I'm going to top it off with a lipstick and this is Nude Beach by Too Faced and also a lip gloss and this is the NYX one in Eclair. Thank you. 